video we're just going to have a look at um, when we've done that nitration what would be the uses of those nitro compounds so remember if we took benzene we can turn it into nitro benzene can you remember the reagents and conditions so we had concentrated nitric and sulfuric 50 degrees C it was called electrophilic substitution and we use these nitro compounds in explosives we mentioned TNT earlier then how do we turn that into an amine an aromatic amine and to do that we use tin and conch HCl and we reflux it and that is a type of reduction and these Amines, these aromatic amines are used in lots of dyes, but they're also used in pharmaceuticals, such as a starting material to make paracetamol. So how do you do that second step? That first step, you need to go back and look at the nitration if you've forgotten. How do you do that second step? So we remember that we were using tin, which is given the symbol SN in the periodic table, and concentrated HDL. That's a reacting mixture. That's two things, both reagents. Neither is the catalyst, both are reagents. Okay? And we're going to reflux it. So the condition is reflux. So the reagents, the reagents are tin and conch HCl, and the condition is reflux. And our equation. It's going to take our nitro, our aromatic nitro, I'm going to turn it into an aromatic amine. And because this is a reduction reaction and it's an organic, we can use H in square brackets to represent reducing agents. We need to balance that. So what happens to those oxygens? Well, they combine with hydrogens to make water, and there was two oxygens, so that'll be two waters. So how many H's do you need? If you count it up, there's four in the water and two on the amine, so that's six altogether. So pause the video and have a go at balancing these two example equations using that um, reaction as a guide. So there we go. The first one is very similar, we've just got that methyl group there. The second one, just watch out, there's two nitro groups, so they both get reduced. So you've got twice as many reducing agents and twice as much water at the end. So that's the reduction of an aromatic nitro group to make an aromatic amine. This is how we would prepare aromatic amines. So in the amines pack, we looked at preparing aromatic versus aliphatic, and these are our aromatic amines. This root at the top here, what's this synthetic pathway from a benzene to a nitro to an amine is quite a common exam question. So make sure you're familiar with all the steps. You can outline the mechanism for the first part and the equation for the second part.